and welcome back to another video. So, today we, we, I'm doing another mod review and it's going to be a dog and world. And yeah, this is going to be a long one. Uh, that's not even the end of, you know, the setup that I've got here. So, yeah, strap in. This is going to be a long one. So, I've got books with all the information we need. So, we've got the doggos, you know, regular doggos. Wolves. They've got smoother animations and when standing up and uh, sitting down and walking, it can you can give them a bone and there's n there's new variations if you could not tell. Um, yeah, we have the zombie woo. Uh, oh yeah, uh, you'll see see this a little bit later down. But there's um, the brown wolf. They spawn in mountain forests, occasionally howl at night. When one of them howls, the rest joined in, tamed or not. Uh, black wolves spawn to mountain tigers. Uh, zombie wolves are wolves that have uh, unfortunately been infected by the zombie virus so that plagues the world of Minecraft. Zombie-fied wolves uh, can spawn in any dimly lit forest. Um, and the uh, light levels do not affect these guys, so you can spam torches everywhere. They're still gonna spawn at night. Um, but then they don't have a lot of health, so it's not too difficult to uh, put them down. Uh, uh, they are hostile to players and other mobs, including wolves, and they cannot be tamed unless they are cured with a golden wolf treat. That'll be later on in the video. Once you cure a zombified wolf, they'll slowly return to normal. Once fully cured, they'll have a much kinder appearance and they're dead. God damn it. Dima. Dima. Dim. 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 Yeah. Dimi. Dimania. And they can be tamed. Though uh, some of uh, their uh, scars remain, uh, the cured zombie wolves behave as normal wolves do. That's this the you doggo here. Look, well, he's got a little bandage on that leg. Uh, end the wolves. Spawn in. You guessed it. The end. This wolf's eye is uh, glow like an Enderman's eyes do, but it uh, doesn't have a problem with being looked at. It also possesses the ability to quickly teleport, but will only do so if uh, agita angered. Water is a strange thing to them, so they tend to avoid it, but will be just about as happy as the average household cat if they get wet. They can only be bred using chorus fruit, which also heals them. The white wolf spawns in snowy areas. That's this guy here. Oh, we've got the wandering tree, the wolf here. Page 13. Where did he come from? Where did he get? Where is he going? Where did he get all this stuff? We may never know the answers, but they appear wearing a special cloak that's reminiscent of everyone's favorite wandering salesman. Wandering wolves spawn throughout the overworld, and they can trade bones for wolf-related items. If you interact with them while holding a bone, you can tame them too. Only one while the wandering trade wandering wolf may be present at a time. Um, the skeleton wolf is a new add-on to Wolves Plus healing from Minecraft, healing from Minecraft Earth. These undead canines are naturally hostile and have the ability to use their ghastly howls to strengthen nearby skeleton mobs, including each other. They can be tamed using wolf treats, not bones. Another way to get them is to feed a non-transformed wolf a skeleton wolf treat. A tamed skeleton wolf gains the ability to regenerate, meaning that they will slowly regain health over time. They're a bit uh, fragile though with less health than a normal wolf. Skeleton wolves so that get KO'd will fall apart like dry bones from Super Mario. After some time has the pass they'll reconstruct and keep going. Tame skeleton wolves use their howls to slow monsters. 
Let's just go here. Uh, Frost Wolf also spawns in snowy areas and is distinguished by its grey white coat and the ice blue eyes. It's closely related to the white wolf and the husky, but hunting stray skeletons out in the frozen landscape has given it a mutation that causes it to inflict snow slowness for 5 seconds to whoever it bites. Um, I believe that's this guy here. Yeah, that's Frost Wolf and this is the... Uh, Black Wolf uh, I mentioned earlier. Mm. Here we go. Page 21. The Prismarine Wolf is a stern looking naturally amphibious wolf that uh, spawns in deep oceans. Prismarine Wolves prefer life underwater and are excellent swimmers. They're also natural enemies of the drowned, which I think which, in my opinion, is... I, th I think they should have been, like, um... Friends around, but hey -oh. uh, They can exit the water freely without worrying about drowning, but they aren't accustomed to life out of the water, so they will move a bit more sluggishly than a land wolf normally would. So, a bit like a crocodile. They are semi-amphibious. Uh, data not found on orange wolves. Oh yeah, orange wolf. Um, this wasn't on the page, so no data found, unfortunately. Oh, there he is. In, that one went disappearing. That the one in the lava went disappearing for a little bit. Um, Prism Marine Wolf, Page of Fellow Orange Wolf. Dire wolves rarely spawn in mountain tigers. They normally appear with a brownish grey coat, but can occasionally appear either with a jet black coat or as an albino. In the wild, they are very territorial and will attack anyone who gets too close without a bone to offer. They also hunt a Voracious kinds, various kinds of livestock for food. They are larger, faster, and stronger than normal wolves, able to outrun a player without speed buffs. When tamed, they retain their serious expression that no puppy dog eyes here. They are very protective of their master, following closely and attacking any monsters that get too close. Continue. Once dire wolves have a target, they will chase them for a great distance until they catch them, even running ahead of their masters. This behavior can be great for hunting for a hunt, but it also means that they may occasionally abandon their master if something catches their attention. They don't just protect their master, they keep a watchful eye and if a monster happens to be sneaking up on another player close by, they may jump in to protect them as well. See, good dogger. Oh, this is a um, very interesting one. This is the Elemental Wolf. Oh, I won't Next page, protect them as well. Here we go, elemental wolves. To get them, you'll need to feed a non-transformed wolf a dragon wolf treat. The location that you feed them, uh, the tree, it uh, determines what element you will elemental wolf you get. With uh, seven different types in total, you uh, can change an elemental wolf back to normal using a golden wolf treat, and they'll still have uh, their unique traits. Elemental wolves have an immunity to fire and lava damage, and they can utilize both melee and long range attacks. They also have the ability to fly at will. An airborne tamed elemental wolf will fall to the ground if told to sit. And something that wasn't mentioned that I found out while getting the next wolf we'll be talking about is that they also go through never portals uh, on their own. Uh, but I think that I don't think that's it unique to them. I think that's just how they all work now. I won't go without you. Um, 
Yeah, elemental rules. Page 57. Uh, the hell wolves. Hell hounds? Oh. I'm not gonna check because it's gonna take too long to do that, but um. Actually, I can just. Oh no, that's an ele oh that's an elemental wolf from the Never. So I'm looking. Did I not? Oh, no, that oh yeah, the Hellhounds will be later because they're hounds and wolves. I spawn in all the ones with wolves and the hounds. Um, spawn in cold climates. Uh, rescue hounds are an unusual type of canine. They spawn with a special energy canister around their necks that allows them to heal nearby players and animals using a super bark that also pushes away and aggravates monsters. In the wild, they mostly roam just like normal wolves. When tamed, rescue hounds have the ability to arrive down downed wolves on their own which can be a vital asset when in battle or travelling through dangerous terrain. They don't fight, but they aren't afraid either. If a monster gets too close, they'll give a loud bark to signal their owner that danger is closing in. The scent hound that spawns in birch forests and is really good at finding things with its nose. They remember the spot that they're born and that they can return there from far away. This can be handy for finding your way back home. Uh, never hound the dirt spawns in the never. Since they spawn in a hostile environment, they'll quickly avoid the player if approached without a bone. Never hounds have a symbiotic interaction with the crimson and warped forest. If a if a uh, blaze wolf steps into a crimson slash warped forest, the forest uh, will eventually begin uh, to grow on them, literally, giving uh, the fungi a way to travel and spread as it gives uh, beneficial effects on the wolf. Crimson fungi increases the fierceness of the wolf, giving it more speed and power. Tamed wolves with crimson fungi will also uh, in the uh, Initiate attacks if a monster gets too close. Wolf fungi can slowly revive a wolf if it gets down, saving it from certain doom. Um, yeah, I, I'm not uh, because those are uh, I couldn't spawn them in spawn eggs, unfortunately, so I can't show them off here. Yeah, the wild dog get spawn. So yeah, so that's did I not spawn in a hellhound? Um, rescue hound, never, yeah, never hound. Oh, they just look like normal dogs. Just like, ah, that's this guy then, I guess, yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess they're not elemental dogs, and this is the wild hound and hus Ooh, husky. I love huskies. One of my, f no, not one of my, definitely my favourite breed of dogs, huskies, in real life at least. They are beautiful dogs. Um, Sand hound, never hound, certain doom. Wild dogs spawn in savannas, inspired by real life African wild dogs. These guys are smaller than the usual wolf with big ears. They also have randomized coat patterns with 25 different possible combinations. Huskies spawn in the snowy areas. They come in lots of colors and there's even a really rare albino variant. And that's all of the, well not all of the, uh, and like, and there's some I couldn't spawn in, like, I couldn't spawn in all the different um, uh, elemental hounds. I could only get these two because I can only go to the nether and Super flat planes. Um, yeah, some really good variants. Now here we have skins. So we have painted pup, choco sprinkle, e robo dog, monochrome, spectrum, OG savannah, and OG rescue. Oh. 
Yeah, um, other wolves don't really like the skeleton wolves. And they tend to get attacked. Can, can you not? I can't lead them. Uh, Boon. Why is this one not being tamed? That one just refuses to be tamed for some reason. Can I lead the skelly wolf? No. Would you just... Oh, I didn't mean to punch it. No, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Ah. Uh, There we go. Oh, what? Ah, uh, poop. Stop it. Oh, great. Now both of them are right. There we go. Oh, fudge. No. Stop. Stop. Ah, poop. I'm gonna have to kill them. Uh, people are gonna be angry at me for that, but they don't wanna have the notification that the skeleton wolf been attacked popping up throughout this entire thing. That would have been annoying. Um, anyway, Easter egg skins. Painted wolf skin that covers a wolf in the different shades of its color color. To get it to use a name tag with the label painted pup, not including the uh, full stops because for some reason they included the full stops within the quotation marks. As you can see, none of these used the full stop. So yeah, got cyan dog, I really like this skin. Next one is Choco Sprinkles. The Choco Sprinkles wolf was lovingly created by one of my little cousins. This wolf will shake sprinkles instead of water when it dries off. To get it, use the name tag with the label Choco Sprinkles. He looks like a donut. Uh, chocolate sprinkled donut. It look it's making me hungry. Um Robo Wolf was lovingly created by my little step bro. This wolf glows brightly in the dark and is even waterproof. To get it, use the name tag with the label E Robo Dog. This skin is moving the gradients of the wolf's color color. To get it, use the name tag with the label Monochrome. So you got Monochrome and E Dog. Uh, this skin is moving rainbow gradient to get it to use the uh, name tag with the label Spectrum. This is a uh, uh, resurrection of the old Savannah Wolf skin to get it use a name tag with the label OG Savannah. And then last one, this is the this is the recreation of the old uh, Rescue Hound skin to get it use uh, uh, use it use a name tag with the label OG Rescue. I like the uh, Spectrum. It's really trippy. And these, the Savannah actually looks pretty decent. I, I get why they changed the rescue dog because it doesn't look. I, I think the um, rescue dog even changes if you. Hold on. Uh, die. Let's get. White die. Does it change based on color color? Yeah, this one does change based on color color. But not all of them do, as you can see. Just, uh, and you can't. E Robo Dog doesn't. It's just like that one, Monochrome, that, and the Rescue Dogs. I do. Energy Rescue Dog. 
Um, Doom Polydates in there. Next we have treats. So you have uh, items, treats. Wolf treats that can uh, be used to recover your wolf's health. They uh, can't be used for breeding though, which makes uh, them handy if you want to feed a bunch of wolves at the same time without possibly ending up with babbies. And pretty simple to craft. Wheat, pumpkin, egg. And you get a wolf treat. And you get a wheat, a pumpkin, pumpkin, egg, and a never wart, and you get a strange wolf treat. Um, in my opinion, they should have just made it so that you just like put a wolf treat with a never wart to get a strange wolf treat that had like never wart on it, maybe, or something. I don't know. Um,. But yeah, strange wolf treats are unstable and smells funny. So it needs to be crafted with something else in order for a wolf to consider eating it. That's where we get... So if you put a strange wolf treat with a mushroom, you get the maximizing wolf treat. If you feed a wolf a maximizing wolf treat, they will double in size, allowing you to ride them if you want. But be careful, that's your best friend you're riding. They'll also benefit from increased health and attack power. So yeah, you can ride on these. these. Which is pretty cool. Definitely better than a horse. Then if you put a strange wolf treat with a brown mushroom, you get a minimizing wolf treat. If you feed a wolf a minimizing wolf treat, they will shrink in size, enabling them to run much faster and fit under half slabs. Their health remains the same as a standard sized wolf, but their attack power is decreased. Release for you. Tiny wolf. Tiny husky. If you put a strange wolf treat with uh, some sweet berries, you get a youthful wolf treat. Youthful wolf treat. Feed a tamed wolf a youthful wolf treat that will uh, turn them back into a puppy. And uh, they'll stay that way until you feed them a normalizing wolf treat. So if you want perma pups, this is how you get them. If you put a strange wolf treat with a brown mushroom and a, a red mushroom and a brown mushroom, you get the normalizing wolf treat. To return a huge or mini wolf to normal size, give them a normalizing wolf treat. So I can take this. You are now a normal doggo. No longer puppers. You are normal size. And you are normal size. Next up is the phasing wolf treat. If you feed a wolf a phasing uh, wolf treat, they will uh, begin to teleport randomly for a while like an enderman uh, to make them stop, tell them to sit. So it's just like strange wolf treat, coarse fruit, phasing wolf treat. And oh, I think I might have stopped phasing. No? I can't feed it the tree. Hold on. Normalize it. Phase. Okay, this is a little bit buggy. Let's get to bone. Some bones. And new puppers. No, oh, uh. Didn't mean to show. It. There we go. And it stopped. That's a little bit pointless. It would have been it would be nice if it was like permanent until like you used a normalizing wolf treat on it, but there you go. Uh, if you put a strange wolf treat with a slime ball, you get a foolproof wolf treat. 
Let's get this here. Um, oh, and yeah, Ender Wolves have control over their abilities to teleport, so they won't uh, get this effect. Instead, they'll gain health. So, yeah. Uh, gelatinous wolf treat. Gel gelatinous? Did it change? Oh yeah, it changed. It changed names since like they put up the thing. Uh, if you uh, feed a wolf a fallproof wolf treat, they'll gain immunity to fall damage and will be able to jump much higher while being ridden. Um. Now, I don't think you can ride them just by giving them this treat. You need to give them the other treat as well, but let's just get a look. Uh, uh, oh, wait. I'm not going to be able to lead them, am I? Oh, no, I can. Up we go. And down you go. Perfectly fine. Um, let me just fly over here and get the big doggo wolf treat. Maximize a wolf treat. Boom. Oh yeah, you can notice how it does jump. Higher than a normal dog. So yeah, it is noticeably higher jumping. Which so, and it's cool that you can combine two uh, more than one wolf tweet. Depending on what type it is, you can obviously can combine the big one and the small one. Uh, put a strange wolf treat with uh, some prismarine crystals to get a wolf treat aquatic. And I believe all this one does. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, if you feed a wolf, it will shoot aquatic. They'll gain the ability to swim underwater to make a wolf swim underwater. Use the dive command while they're in water after you teach them to swim the first time. Their overall water speed will be increased, allowing them to move much quicker through the water. Whether above or below the surface, note that right now there are uh, some wolves that are inco incompatible with this treat. Never hounds for one. Um, yeah, and oh, we've got the honey glazed wolf treat, which is just with the honey glazed wolf treat, you can act actually cure ne negative effects. So it's just like grab this. Um, get some poison. Yeah. Uh, and you craft that with wheat, pumpkin, egg, and a bottle of honey. <laughs> Super easy. Um, if you get a strange wolf treat and a, a golden apple, you get, I forgot to name this, a golden wolf treat. So let's go to the golden wolf treat aquatic honey glazed. Here we go, golden. Golden wolf treat has a purifying effect on wolf, and that they can be used to cure zombie wolves and undo transformations. They can also be used in a pinch to remove a down, revive down wolves. If you don't happen to have a have a emergency kit on hand. Uh, Dragon Wolf Treat, feed a non-skeleton wolf one of these uh, will transform him into an elemental wolf. Which type of elemental wolf? It depends on the environment you're in. If a, if you're somewhere really cold, you'll get a nice elemental wolf. If you're somewhere really, really, really hot, you'll get a fire elemental wolf. If you're above the clouds, you'll get an electric elemental wolf. Do you get the element you wanted? Go to a different place and use a wolf clicker to try and change the element. Want to change them back to normal? Use a golden wolf treat. Treat and you get this with a uh, strange wolf treat and a uh, dragon bottle of dragon's breath to get the dragon wolf treat and you get an elemental doggo. Strange wolf treat plus soul sand or soul soil will get you the skeleton wolf treat, which yeah uh, oh 
changes them into the skeleton dog. Uh, aquatic, honey glaze, dragon, skeleton, retained wolf, one of these will transform them into a skeleton wolf. As skeleton wolves, they'll regain health slowly over time automatically, but in exchange they have slightly less health overall. To change them back to normal, use a golden wolf treat. This recipe works with either soul sand or soul soil. Forgetful Wolf Treat. The Forgetful Wolf Treat will uh, cause any Tamed Wolf to forget their owner and remove any and all upgrades uh, given to the Wolf, except for transformations. Note that this will uh, reactivate any wild instincts the Wolves had before it was tamed, so have a bow that hand, hand ready if you want to reset a Dire Wolf without getting eaten. This can be used to... Um, trade wolves so uh, say I had this skeleton wolf and you wanted a skeleton wolf but we didn't have uh, any strange wolf trees or soul sand or soul soil to transform a wolf into a wolf treat or a spare wolf to transform you just boop and then uh, you just tame it with the wolf treats oh and that's the last one of those on to the next area So let me just jump my inventory in there. I want to take these two. So the first item, you take two uh, reg regular wolf treats and you get a wolf emergency kit. Down but not out. If a wolf happens to take some sort of uh, fatal damage, it will enter a down state. A downed wolf becomes immobilized and unresponsive to any commands. You can revive your... Comp K9 Pal using either a Golden Wolf Treat or a Wolf Emergency Kit. Rescue Hounds can also revive tamed wolves. Wolf Emergency Kits will uh, revive a downed wolf, bringing them back up to uh, their health that they had just before being KO'd. Kits are consumed upon use. Don't have one? There's another way to revive them. Dog Houses. Five planks, one wall gives you a dog house. Dog houses serve as a sort of respawn point for a tamed wolf that gets KO'd. If a wolf is down for a while, it'll teleport to the nearest dog house. There it'll rest and recover for a while. In a game a day or two, you can still revive them with an emergency kit or via a uh, uh, rescue hound. Once they're done resting, they'll hop out and become able to join you on your adventures once again. Um, on to extra protection. <laughs> this add-on also now includes armor for tamed wolves. Similar to uh, player armor, armor made from higher tier materials do a better, better job at protecting your canine friend. To remove armor, use shears on the wolf. Only the wolf's owner can change its equipment. Never I eat a wolf armor has the same protection level as diamond with an added benefit of reducing knockback that is taken. So you can see you've got gold, iron, diamond, emerald, and never I eat. And you can see the crafting recipes for all of these here. Um, this is in the crafting table right now, and they've not yet um, changed it to be in the smithing table. Also, they can be worn as helmets. I don't know if they give any real protection. And then if I drink this invisibility potion, you just got floating dog armor. Uh, so this is more experimental. We've got the wolf force field, which yes can also be, oh no, it cannot be worn as armor, but you can hold it in your hand and you can see it's in your hand. Uh, I've not got a dog for this. Hold on, let me get a dog for the, to wear this real quick. One, two, three, on.
Oi, put this on. Yeah, it doesn't really. Ch it makes it makes him look a little bit more grey. Huh. Oh, I have a wolf force field. On oh, okay. Um. So yeah. Crafted with phantom membranes. Um, experimental hazard suits. Uh, renamed to wolf force field. If you equipped a wolf with this armor, it will render them completely immune to any outside sources of damage, while also rendering them unable to attack. Um, you can probably find like use for this like. Uh, you could probably like have the um, rescue hounds wear this, and then they can just be like entirely support. Um, my only problem with this is how they how they're crafted because um, a lot of mods also use this shape for to craft um, horse hammer. If you're gonna craft, if you want want to craft horse hammer, so maybe. Um, a different crafting recipe they could maybe do is just like they can't do they can't just like take that out because then that's a um helmet but maybe have a separate like crafting station to craft these in like the hammers had their own crafting station for you to craft the hammers in so maybe um, I don't see why not just like putting all these in, well not all of them, but like the doghouse in like its own crafting, you know, in the same crafting station as the armor. Uh, I don't know. Um, and you could also put the um, wolf fangs in that as well, and then wolf fang, sword, leather, basically a sword for doggos. Oh, this was a puppy in this game, that's how long it took me to make this, this was spawned in as a puppy. Uh, but you can see they've got like the swords in their offhands. Um, if I get like something for them to kill real quick, like a skeleton, do they go out? Skeleton. Oh, it's on peaceful. Diff. Yeah, they. Uh, uh, if this is a, a monster nearby, they all equip their swords. Hold on. If we go into game mode zero, will it, they attack it? There we go. Took them a minute, but yeah, let's switch it back to peaceful. Otherwise, it's gonna get uh, slime spawning and then making lots of noise and being annoying. Where did the doggos go? Let's see, uh, wolf fangs. Let's see if there's anything I forget about them, but I'm pretty sure they're just like uh, source for dogs. Women can be given to attain wolves so that they can uh, be even more helpful during your travels. A wolf may only use one piece of equipment at a time to remove it from into you. She is. Uh, wolf fang is a specialized blade that a wolf can uh, wield. Do they uh, give tamed wolves a higher melee attack power? There is a wolf fang for every vanilla sword type, but the better the material, the higher the attack power increase, and it's the exact same crafting recipe. Uh, wolf light. This item allow, allow, allows your canine pal to light up the area around them, essentially as though they are a moving torch. And wolf ticker, a rather expensive item. This will allow your tamed wolf to tick the world around them. I'm going to talk about those two real quickly, but yeah, not much to say. Gold nuggets around the Glowstone dust to make the light. If I go in here. Yep. Is a doggo that lights 
makes the logo light up, light up. Um, and I've not been able to work out exactly what the ticker does. Because it doesn't really... Like, increase crop growth or copper oxidization or sapling growth. So I don't really know what it does or if it does any... Or if it's just, like, bugged or what. Um, but it just doesn't work. Uh, here we have the jet wolf jet is a device designed to give any wolf the ability to fly it's still in development but in its current state it will allow a wolf to fly around and mate and attack foes from above it doesn't let it yet give wolves the ability to follow a player that's using a rocket powered elytra but uh, perhaps you'll get there one day to remove the wolf jetpack use shears so if I just like right click on doggo, it should be able to fly. Or not. Oh yeah, there we go. It did fly for a minute then. Hold on. If I jump up here, yeah there no. Nope. Okay, it flies for a short period of time. And it just falls to the ground. Uh, what if I get a lead? Bring it up. Yeah. It basically gives it slow falling, which... Could be, uh, I don't know if you'd use this over like, just like the, um, the slimy dog treat. That's back here somewhere. Yeah, this one, if you'd use it over this. Well, it, actually it is flying be a bit better now, so maybe, um, I don't know. Because I don't think you'd be able to like use this with the wolf fang. Where are you? Hey, come here. Now you can't use it with the wolf fang. So. I don't know. Weird, there's my book. Oh, oh, what? Um. Oh, wait, huh? Okay, these particles are following me around for some reason. That's a glitch, anyway. Um, that's gonna be annoying. This is the wolf whistle. Other items, wolf whistle. The wolf whistle can be used to call your tamed wolves back to you, but you'll uh, have to train them first. To train a tamed wolf, interact with them using the whistle. After that, if you uh, tell the tamed wolf not to follow you, <laughs> excuse me, follow you, you can use the, <laughs> excuse me, whistle, uh, Nearby, and they'll come back to you. So it's like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's working or if I'm. Just being stupid. Dip it. 
Hmm, maybe I need a... A stick. Then use it. I think that, yeah, I think that did it. Because if you interact with them with a stick, they'll stop following you. And just like wander around. Hold on, I'm just gonna chuck it out of my inventory. Nope, that did not solve it. Nope, I don't know what's going on. Why? Why are these? Don't know why those pixels are following me. That's a bug that I don't know how to fix. Maybe if I re-log, I can fix it. Yeah, there you go, relogging fixed it, okay. Next up, if you craft a bed with a dog treat, you get a dog bed. I forgot to name this. Is it a wolf bed? No, this doesn't make them beg and chase you like a treat would. Instead, it just lets them, let the wolf in there to start following you again like normal. I forgot to put a thing telling me to go on to the next page. Anyway, uh, wolf clicker. Did I miss one? Wolf clicker. I did. How did I miss this? Hold on. Game mode zero. Wolf. Wolf clicker, made with a wolf treat and two pieces of iron. Uh, the clicker can uh, be used to give your tamed wolf uh, a command. This uh, one is still a work in progress. Mostly uh, wolves uh, will uh, try and uh, dig up an item when you interact with them using a clicker. Well, there are a few exceptions. Uh, for example, scent hounds will try to sniff their way home. Rescue hounds will use their super bark to heal nearby mobs. And, and uh, dire wolves can uh, be commanded to chill out and not attack everything. So you just right click on them with the clicker. And I dug up two sticks in the mushroom. So can I... Or you can just two flint, one flesh in a brown mushroom, one flesh in a bone, one flesh in a flint. I think sticks. More rotten flesh in the flint. One last one. A flint and the rotten flesh. And it got itself a bone. Another bone. Uh, okay, doggo bed. Wolf, bed, uh, wolf beds are diable and the uh, wolves, tamed or not, can lay down in one to regain health and rest. Tamed wolves that are following their owner 
that happen to run into a wolf bed will exit the bed if their owner gets too far away. Telling a wolf to sit or stand that will cause it to exit the bed, wolves will also exit the bed if uh, angered uh, to remove a wolf, punch it. Okay. Uh, but if we go, yeah, you come over here. Wait, where? Uh, whistle. You come over here. I think it's wandering. Oh, I'm in survival. That's why. Come on. Follow me. There we go. So if you walk into this. Yeah, there we go. And you can stay in there. If you get a bone and a stick, you get the uh, toy bone. Oh, you got the toy bone. You got the toy bone. You have, yes, you have. Um, toy bone. Click a bed. Toys. Once a wolf obtains a toy bone, it'll hold on the hold on to it in its mouth and might lay down to chew on, might lay down to chew on it a wolf can uh, be commanded to drop the toy bone if you uh, sneak and interact eventually he'll drop the toy bone on his own allowing another wolf to pick it up a wolf that ha was holding a toy bone will drop the ball it used to be called a ball it used to be a ball but is now bone will drop the bo bone if it becomes interested in something else that you're holding, or if it gets angry at something. Flying disc, you can craft uh, any slab into uh, two flying discs. The flying disc is uh, more floaty and that it can be thrown further than a toy bone. Nope. And then you just like tap click, they can get launched quite far. But if you hold on to it, it just does that. Oh, they actually go really far. <laughs> uh, I think it's funny that they just go split. Anyway, if you get a dog treat, a rabbit hide, and some redstone, you will get the rabbit toy. Almost at the end. This has been a long one. Uh, ooh. Inventory, pet the dog, not onto that yet. Uh, running Rabbit. Place the Running Rabbit toy on the ground and it will run from any wolves that get close, giving your tamed wolves something to chase that they, can t that they can't kill. Once they catch the toy, it uh, works just like a toy bone. The wolves will eventually drop the toy and it will run away again. Um no nope. all right let's just bring you over here Oh, 
Where did the rabbit go? I don't think it's interested in the rabbit because it's got the toy bone. And he's chewing on it, that's adorable. It'd be nice if... Now let's just get another one, real quick. Stick. There we go. Oh, I got it real quick. You want the brick? I want to get. Ah, you still got the other one. Anyway, um, next we have. Oh, too far. Pet the dog. This add-on contains a recipe for an item that will allow you to pet tame duels. It's quite simple. Just hold the pet dog item and you'll be given an option to pet the tamed wolf you're looking at. You should only need one as they aren't used up when you pet a tamed wolf. A wolf's tail will wag if you pet them. It, uh, la I'd like to do more with this item at some point in the future. So it's just like four treats. And you get a pet the dog. Yeah, I think that one's too busy eating its playing with its toy. Let's get another one. Yeah, there you go. You see his tail wagon? Pet the dog. Pet pet pets. Lots and lots of pets. And then you have just like the dog inventory, you like interact with them with a chest and then you shift click, uh, you shift, yeah. So basically you, sh you shift click them to get them to sit, then you shift click them again to get them to lay down and the chest will appear above them. Then you can right click them and put stuff in their inventory. Easy peasy. Right, that's almost everything. Uh, okay, now inventory, you can give a tamed wolf an inventory by interacting them with it using a chest. It will say inventory has five slots. To access the inventory, you sneak and interact with the, with the dog in, until a chest appears above its head. Then normally interact like a regular chest. Other features, wolves have smoother animations for certain to actions. All wolves have co colorable collars, even Easter egg skins. If you hold a stick to your sti hold a stick, you can tell your tamed wolves to roam without following you around. This doesn't untame it; it just allows them to have the option to wander around your house. Uh, instead of just sitting in place all day, they'll also sit and uh, come to defend you if they're close enough to notice a situation. Wolves tamed or otherwise will pick up bones that are lay laying around to chew on them. You uh, can give your tamed wolves a bone too. When they don't have much else to do, tamed wolves may occasionally lay down and rest for a bit or until something interesting happens. Uh, Fight wisely. Tamed wolves now notice if they've taken lots of damage, and if so, they will withdraw from battle to avoid getting KO'd. This doesn't always apply, uh, though. For example, dire wolves will defend their owners till the bitter end. And that is everything. This mod is amazing. It's got so many uh, cool things. And it is so big, like, look at this. Look at all this I was added into the game and I've not like even talked about absolutely everything that's in this during this video because there's like other stuff that's in it that I didn't feel like talking about like there's these wolf costume items. Those are like placeholder that these are like placeholders and 
don't really know how to use them really. And I can't really. You can't like equip them or anything. So. I've not like talked about them. Uh, there was like the Wandering Cloak, which uh, there was nothing on like this, but you can like equip them. And I don't know how you get those. All right, there was nothing on the mod page about it. And seriously, you just like burn wolf, and you just like then you also got like bright wolf armor, which was not mentioned, and I don't know. How you get this either. Um, and it appears to not even work. You got like chili wolf armor. Which again, I don't know how you get. Um. Yeah, and you get these, like, east, these e Easter egg skins when you, like, um, use a normalizing treat on a tamed, named wolf. Got wolf energy canister. Don't know what this does. If anything. Um, yeah, we talked about all the treats. So yeah, pretty cool mod. I would highly recommend uh, um, downloading this and playing with it on your world. Because like, even if like you're somewhere that doesn't normally spawn wolves, like and like the zombie wolves will spawn in any biome. So just like get a golden apple, uh, the golden apple treat, uh, which is. Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Not that one. This one. Get one of these. Uh, and Well, actually, let's get a zombie wolf. Go to that zombie wolf that's in the water. Because they say on fire during the day. And I'll cure him up. Yeah, just do that, and then you got yourself. These cute, you guys. Yeah, the, honestly, yeah, this is one of like the few mods I would say should definitely be in vanilla Minecraft. Um, while it is like large and expensive, it is. Yeah, there you go. And doesn't take too long for them to be purified. Um, it. And it does change a you know add a lot of stuff. I would be really happy if this did, if this was just straight up added to vanilla Minecraft. Um, because doggos are cool, and you know they've got so much just like this could be improved. Like they could like make this work, make it so that oxidizes because copper and grows crops and saplings faster. Because that doesn't work and like you got some cool stuff like the only things I would say probably wouldn't really fit into vanilla Minecraft is pet the doggo item because it's kind of well maybe we could just add, have a button for that added um and make the like throwing toys and stuff they aren't very they they're not and like the dog dog bed is in and dog house isn't very um Vanilla-y. Like they stand out a bit. But everything else, honestly, I'd say would fit in quite well. And I think the mod maker did, did really do a good job of making this like seem like it would be something that would be added into Minecraft one day. Um... 
And they have just like gone above and beyond. Yeah, that guy disappears sometimes, like I said earlier. But they have gone like above and beyond in just like making this mod. Uh, also, wand. Got the wandering wolf. That you can actually trade with. You can get wolf clickers, dog houses. You can get treats, you can get flying discs, you can get wolf fangs, you can get emerald, you can get wolf armor. Oh, that's how you get the wandering cloak. Get the jetpack, you get pet the dogs, and that's for bones, and that makes so much sense. It's like they, why would the dog want emerald? They don't want emeralds, they want bones! Because they're dogs! And I just love this! Oh, there he is. He's back. And it also like uh, adds better um, animations to the dogs when they're like walking and running around. Now if I get this guy up, I can watch him. What? Look at him! He's just like bouncing around. It's adorable. You can watch his little tail wag. Oh, he's adorable. I just love this mod so much, like, and this is, and the thing that I love most about this is that I've never, ever seen anything like this, like, not on Bedrock, not even on Java, I've never seen a Java mod like this, like, there probably is one that improves doggos. That got attacked by someone, probably. Um, there is probably a, a Java mod that improves doggos, but it's just like, I've never seen anything like this, and it was just so cool, just like, um, learning about all this, and it, it honestly, I think this will be one of the mods that I just have permanently, just like, on all of my worlds, just because it is so, like, fleshed out, and so cool, and it just improves, like, doggos, which are just like, doggos are amazing! Oh my god! I love this so much, um, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video, and I hope you, like, if you, in, please, if you enjoyed this, do, like, like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that, because this took me a long time to set up, um, so I had to do all the crafting recipes, I had to, like, copy and paste all, like, the, um, text from the download page, which was, um, a bit annoying, because it was, like, uh, to copy and paste all the stuff into the book and quills because of how because of the text limit and all that but it, you know, I just love this mod it's amazing right seriously get this mod download it right now add it to all your worlds and I hope to see you guys in the next video or live stream whatever I do and bye bye